Hey there, Segudo Golfers, Tom Segudo here. Today we're talking about freeing up your body so that you can hit the ball 50 extra yards without even trying. Basically an effortless golf swing. Swing easier, hit further. I see a lot of golfers, when they swing, it's like it's all arms and they're all cooped up here. Like, I'm stuck in a ball. I'm stuck, help. I'm in this walnut, I can't get out. So to get more power, we have to learn how to use the body. We need to go from cooped up to freed up. Do you see the difference there? Cooped up, freed up. Bigger turn, my hips are engaged, my body is going to be hitting the ball, which means that you can swing easier, you can hit further. And I was not joking when I said there's 50 yards in this, because the average golfer who opens up their body, they're going from this weak, really powerless effort to this huge, opened up, powerful golf swing. So what I want you to think about is the chest, the buttons on your shirt especially. When you're cooped up down here, where do your buttons point? Buttons are pointing down at the ground. Look at that. Buttons are staying down. While it's nice that you've got tilt to the ground, the buttons actually have to change to pointing at the sky. Look at this buttons up, buttons at the sky. I'm getting more extension in my swing, which unlocks your whole body to turn. Let's send one. Mmm, saucy push draw. Oh, that felt great. Did you see all that speed? I barely swung at the thing. Extension, let's do some more of that. That ball was absolutely nutted. Now we're standing here in the fairway, 280 plus yard drive. I've got a lob wedge into the green on a par four. Can you imagine what your game would look like if you were hitting short irons into every par four instead of that five iron or three wood or the five wood? It's really annoying. And plus you feel like you're working so hard. Extension is gonna give you that extra 50 yards you need to hit short clubs into the green. So from the front view here, when we look at extension, we look at getting more of this opening up of your body, the buttons up feeling. Well, from the front, watch. You see that the hips turn, the shoulders turn more when I extend. When I'm cooped up, the hips don't turn. The only thing that swings is the arms, and there goes my chopping at the golf ball, and it's really powerless. It's a lot of effort, but the ball doesn't go anywhere. We wanna hit the ball farther with no effort. We wanna swing easier, hit farther. So as we're swinging back, extension, is gonna make the swing feel nice and effortless. You're gonna be hitting short irons into every par four. Hmm, that was tasty. Be good. Well, check it out, divot looks like a Snickers bar, a little nutty action in there. So all we're doing here is opening up the chest, getting you from being cooped up, bound up. It's like you ate all that cheese after the football party and you're stuck. If you were somebody who hit the driver 220, you could hit it 250 to 270 by opening up your body. If you've been closed up for a while, you might surprise yourself with how powerful this tip is. By the way, if you have any trouble hitting your longer clubs like your three iron, your three wood, especially the driver, this tip's really gonna help you out. I've got three iron here, buttons up, not cooped up. Buttons up, not bound up. By the way, I've got this free mini course, the top three keys you need to be a great ball striker. I highly recommend you check it out. It's going to show you how to hit the ball super crispy and far. Swing easier, hit farther, shot after shot. Also, comment below. Let me know what your yardage was before watching this video. And let me know if it improved your yardage. Tell us your new yardage in the comments section. Did you get 50 extra yards? Did you get 20, 30, 10? Any way I see it is an improvement that's a ton more fun. It's now time for Miracle Shot, where Tom tries to hit an impossible shot from a nearly nice lie to an impossible location. Let's see what happens. We're gonna start with a fade, hit a nice draw. Tell me, what shot would you hit? Try and shape it around this tree. Can we draw this ball? Not very likely. Let's try it though for fun. This is a huge hook, high draw. 
Oh, baby. Be good. No way. <laughs> that was insane. I was in jail there. Buttons to the sky. Let it fly. Mm. Oh, she's flying. She's flying. Stay. Sit, 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 sit. Woo! What did I say? You can hit some shots that are pretty spicy when you start extending your spine. That ball was nuked. I really want you to get this feel. And some of you might be having a hard time opening up your body for the first time because you've been so cooped up and bound up in this position forever. So let's dip the club. Let's get rid of it. Just got your two arms. Other thing that's really important with this is keeping the arms straight. Feeling like both arms are really extended. It's gonna help you open up your body more. So you've got your arms extended out like this. Now imagine somebody has just told you that they want you to get the cereal box out of the top cabinet because nobody else can reach it. You know that feeling of, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that's the feeling. We're gonna stretch our body way up. So you got your body fully extended. This is spine extension. You actually extend your spine fully like this in the golf swing when you hit it. If you wanna hit it really far, you would do this. The longest hitters extend the most. So I'm reaching up for the top cereal box way up there. Your body should feel really free. That's extension, that's happening here. By the way, do you feel how the buttons are now facing up, not down? Buttons are up because I'm extending my spine. With the club, it's the same thing. That's what's getting the buttons up. You're reaching for the sky. You're extending your spine. You're getting that cereal box. It's gonna help you hit the ball so much more solid. Not to mention 50 yards further. Good strike. Let's see if we can fade it in there too. Ooh, almost a perfect fade, that was really solid. Nice shot. You can get that kind of command over your ball flight and have that kind of crispy contact shot after shot when you join the Segudo.golf online golf school. It's a complete golf swing training program designed to help you play the best golf of your life. Life's far too short to play bad golf, so what are you doing? Wasting your time playing bad golf. Get on the gravy train to playing great golf with Segudo.golf. Got a link here in the description and also here below in the video. So check it out. There's nothing quite like freeing your body up to hit a golf shot like that. The feeling of swinging easier and hitting the ball further is so addicting because it's like you're barely lifting a feather and the ball's exploding off the face. You can do that when you open up your chest like that. You reach for the top cereal box. I know you're gonna go home right now and start putting all your cereal boxes on the top shelf. You're gonna start reaching up and practicing your extension at breakfast in the morning. Hey, comment if you're gonna do that. Then I know you're really dedicated to getting 50 extra yards with no effort, basically not trying. You want some more of that? Get your chest opened up. Mm. Oh, that's perfect. Reach for the stars and you'll land among the moon, hitting it 50 extra yards further. I'll be right. Be the right club. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get in there, get in there. Oh! Man, that's fun. Whoosh! Whoosh! There we are again, a nice, perfect patch, crispy KFC divot. Order a number seven. Three-piece chicken mashed potatoes. 170 yards, seven iron, sitting on the green with the birdie pot. Woohoo! All right, so good golfers. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're looking for a way to play your best golf right now, check out my online golf school, segudo.golf. And I look forward to seeing you in a future episode. If you like this video, like the channel, subscribe. There's a whole party going on right here. See you next week.